the second game of the Florida Gators 2028 20, season. The first game, we got beat by Fresno State by a score of 38 to 31. And Fresno jumped out on us really quickly and just really didn't recover if I remember correctly. Um, but I know that was a, certainly the final score. And Fresno State Bulldogs beat us last year. When we played them. So now there's a bit of this is here rivalry. Oh, uh, they're not in the SEC. Now there is a rivalry between Florida and Tennessee. Now we aim to get I guess a little bit of redemption and win a game. Tennessee has already played two games and they lost them both. So sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready and watch as the Tennessee Volunteers play the Florida Gators. And if you watch the first installment of all this, uh, you know that I already have all this taken care of, I guess, by auto feature, uh, auto coaching, auto recruiting, play calling, all that. Because all I really want to do uh, when it comes to this is to spectate and enjoy and, I guess you say, Kind of tinker with the settings a little bit. Not very much. I don't do that very much at all. I only want to see huge flaws. And again, that was a cool shot there, by the way. Florida Gators walking out of the locker room at the swamp. All those people doing the Gator chomp. Pretty good arm exercise, by the way. You see the Florida Gators coming out. They're running out and uh, getting ready to face the balls. Neither team has won a game yet, but they missed the beginning of the season. And we only won there at two. So there is a lot already on the line for this game. And let's see who they will spotlight here. Okay, it's Andy Gardner. Six foot one, 254, redshirt senior. And he is, I believe, a preseason pick uh, to win some sort of award. I forget which one it is. Not that important right now, but what is important is that the game is about to start. And we are off. Kick taking about the 11 yard line up to maybe the 31 perhaps. Let's see where they officially mark it. Yep, I was right, at the 31 yard line. So let's see what they got. Now the shotgun had a little bit of an end around and it did not work. That defense is just so fast. They, they diagnose the play so quickly and they get there. The pursuit is just, just second to none. Second down and three. Short throw to the fullback Williams. And Williams only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Again, that pursuit is just beyond compare. Third down and 10. And back to throw. He is strip sack. The ball is on the ground, and I do think Florida's got it. And that is number 95, Joe Thomas, who made the sack. 
and strip the quarterback of the ball. And you see him making his way to the sideline. Fourth down and 15. Defense already setting the tone as this ball is punted away. Let's see, they'll mark it at the Tennessee 49. Wow, it didn't even clear the 50. So first down and 10, and the tight end splits out to the left. And he's going to run right into number 58. I can't read his name. Anyway, that's a gain of three yards. Let's see which part of the game is established first. Okay, they're going to throw this time, and it is caught, and he does a great job of keeping his balance. That was excellent. Those guys, it is on this pick play. We don't call pick plays on this. But uh, that's Keller, number 85. Making the first catch of the game. And now Williams is in the center. First down. And he's going to throw. And it is caught by Jacobson. Number 83. Game of six yards. So right now, look at the passing game is. The better the two attacks and as they try to run up the middle and it just wasn't happening. Now, yeah, the, they all know about Lee Wilson. They all know about this big line that the Gators have. So they're going to attack it and make sure that they don't get beat by that. Oh, and there's a catch. First down. That is Keller. He's got another catch already. And this one is going to set them pretty good. I believe that was inside the 10-yard line. Yes, it was. And so the ball is resting at the 6-yard line. Three wide. Handoff. And try a little quick move. But all the game was mm, maybe, maybe three yards. Up to the three-yard line. They come out in the 12 set. And it works. Touchdown Gators. There's Lee Wilson. Scored the first touchdown of the ball game. And setting this swamp crowd on his feet. The kick is up and good. And so... It was a three-yard run by Lee Wilson, capping off a seven-play, 48-yard drive, a minute 56 off of the clock. For the Gators, drawing first bad. Uh, this kickoff is taken at about the 10. Oh, he's still on his feet. Down at about the 40. And he got a crease, <laughs> and it took the kicker to bring him down. Now that's not an easy play for a kicker. And here it is first down, and he got back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Second down and 10. Running game no good on that. Well, he tried to step up and fake, and oh my goodness, that was a terrible throw. Oh, Sanders, Sanders was open, and he just failed to get it to him. That was just terrible, terrible play. They were on different pages. Third down and 10, man in motion in the shotgun, and there's a full-on blitz, and he is sacked. Seven-yard loss, and that is going to be fourth down. I've had to pump this one again already. This one's a little better punt, taking about the 30, 35, 40. Good return by Lee Wilson. He 
He's also the kick returner, primary kick returner for Florida. He returned one all the way to the house last week against Fresno State. Here's first down to 10, play fake. Williams throws, and he's got a man. That is number 84. That is Gilbert. And these tight ends, uh, historically for the Gators, don't get a lot of catches. It's primarily a, perim a perimeter game. But uh, every now and then, they show up and make a big catch, and that was a big one. First down and 10. They're throwing a flat. Picked off, and he is going to take it to the house. There's, there's nobody who's going to catch him. Touchdown, Tennessee. Well, that was just... It was just a poor play. He just should not have thrown it there. The guy was covered, and when a guy is covered, I mean, common sense pretty much tells you that that is not a place where you throw unless you have a guy who is uh, more like a, uh, I guess, a Des Bryant type guy or or uh, somebody who's able to overcome that. Perhaps have Megatron or something like that. Didn't have it then. So now it's tied up. Let's see if the Gators can redeem themselves here. And that ball will be just short of the 30. Okay, so the ball is going to be right at the 30 yard line. They're going to run or attempt to run. <laughs> Round left in, and Dixon gets his first call, and uh, he loses two yards on that. That's, looks like Baker, number 93, who's uh, giving him a little talking to. And he's saying, don't run that play near me again. Second down and 12. He's going to throw deep. Incomplete. And that was Gilbert, the tight end. They're trying to stretch that middle and perhaps get the safeties to play a little bit softer so they can get a running game going. Passing to set up the run. Third down and 12. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Gilbert. Gilbert was wide open. Nobody near him, and he just straight dropped the ball. Fourth down and 12. And quickly brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Ooh, face mask. That's going to be on Justin Smith. And that's going to help the volunteers out a little bit. Gets them into Florida territory. In fact, on the 45 yard line. And a quick throw. That next about four yards that is Sanders, number 87. Second down right here. Let's see if they can establish some sort of attack. Well, it's not going to happen on that play because Edwards was immediately stacked up. Third down and three. And it's third down and th le three or less. You pretty much have the whole playbook to your advantage, but it doesn't matter because he just lost two yards trying to run around right in. So it's fourth down and five. They will attempt a 40, wow, 57-yard kick. Not even close. Never had a chance. Yipes. So a blown opportunity, although Tennessee may have been thinking, well, let's just try one. We have the rest of the game to recover. But guess what? You're not going to recover right now because they just scored a touchdown. Keller, number 85, hauls in a long 
Touchdown throw and catch. And that's going to look good on the stack column. So they come right back after a big mistake. Throw the ball, and boom, they've got a touchdown. Got to love the mindset. Even if that didn't work, you still have to love the mindset of that. 14 to 7, Florida in front of Tennessee. And here's a kickoff return. A good hit. And that is going to be short of the 30. Specifically, they're going to be at the 28 yard line. So, three wide, and looks like they're going to try a jet sweep. And that's out of the shotgun. They gain a yard, actually. So, <laughs> the Wildcat uh, nowadays just doesn't really seem to work all that often. Oh, and he is sacked. That was a loss of six. It looked like they were trying to set up a screen. And that's not Ginn who made the sack. He says number 90. Uh, gosh, I, I couldn't read the name off of his jersey. But whoever he was, he made the play. Third down and 16 coming up here. Three wide. Back pass, deep drop. And before he even, even gets off the pass, he's sacked for the fourth time. They have got to figure out what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. Fourth down and 24. And the punt is angled. Doesn't work out. Taking it midfield. Breaks a tackle. Runs over somebody. I don't know who that is, but man, Wilson. Just. <laughs> he's an excellent player. That is the advantage of having a running back return kicks. And there's Wilson on first down. He's going to lose yardage or keying on him. Number 98, I don't know who that is, but he made an excellent play. Loses a yard, second down. Ball at the 41 of Tennessee, and there's a handoff. He breaks the tackle right up the middle, and he has the first down. Excellent play. Now, there was penetration, but the guy who... Hit him first, did not get the job done. Just easily broke that tackle and gained it another 10 or 11 yards. First down and 10. Williams connects with Jacobson. And that is a gain of four yards. Second down inside the 25 yard line to about the 23. Out of the eye, he runs right up the middle. That is Wilson. Finally planted into the turf, but not before he gained the first down. When you make the first man miss, more often than not, you gain at least five yards, I believe. Less than a minute to go now. Florida trying to increase their lead. Oh, fake to a fullback pitch to the halfback. And he's going to be dropped for a loss. Uh, Williams, number 51, number 58, and Holiday, number 51, there on the scene. Second down and 11. Out of the eye, he drops back the pass. He's going to throw to Clayton. I believe that's Clayton. Yes, it is. Number 22. Holiday making another tackle. Third down and six, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter, a productive quarter, especially for Florida, 14 to seven over Tennessee. If not for that pick six, we'd be looking at 14 nothing. Just show you how dominant the Florida defense has been so far in this game. But we begin the second quarter with them on offense. Third down and six. And back to throw, and it is picked. No, it is tipped away. 
by number 58. And they will have to settle for a short field goal attempt. And Beach should be able to get this one pretty easily. About 25 yards away. Beach up, and it is good. 17 to nothing. Or, or 17 to 7, rather. And it is capping off the eight play, 33 yard drive, taking up a minute 51. Florida has got to feel pretty good right now with what they're doing, seeming to have settled down from a bit of a shaky start. So the ball's on offense. They have the ball at the 26-yard line. Delayed draw, and he is blown off of his feet. And let's see, who is that? Who was that streaking across the field to get Edwards? I couldn't really tell. The highlight reel just went on too quickly. So I apologize for that. So it's going to be second down and 10. They line up in the eye. Handoff behind left guard. He never even reached the full line of scrimmage. That's a loss of one. They were ready for that. Third down at 11. Now they're going to have to pass. Uh, they've already been sacked four times. And the throw is caught. A gain of 16. So something positive going here for the Vols. Perhaps. Oh, but wait a minute. Let's look at this. Did he really get a foot in bounds? All it takes is one foot in college football. Let's look at this. Here's the ball heading to Carlson, number 10. He secures the ball, and guess what? He is out of bounds. Fully. Are you kidding me? He was all the way out of bounds by the time his feet hit the ground. Okay, they uh, they lucked out on that one. You see how this drive turns out. Seven yard run there by Edwards, easily the best run of the game so far for him. We're going to try the right side and forget about it. Oh, my goodness. It's like running to Lawrence Taylor. The same number. And I'm not sure who that is exactly. I don't know if it's Stallings. Third down and nine, nonetheless. And uh, defense changing guys in and out. But nonetheless, they stopped the drive. It's all for naught, and it is fourth down. They are going to have to punt yet again. Cannot get any kind of traction in this game. Robinson looking around for some kind of flag. I guess somebody ran into him or something, but he's not going to get it. But this ball was well kicked at the 12. Oh, look out. Williams gets popped. Looked like a keeper, and number 94 just drilled him. Can't tell what his name is. This Chase? Can't really determine. These highlight reels, like I said before, they go so quickly, and it's hard to really figure out what's going on. Second down and 12. And he zips this ball. Man. <laughs> he, he must have caught this ball in self-defense. That ball was was zinging. He had some heat on that. Keller, number 85. He caught that in self-defense. Third down and two. And they are in the shotgun. Williams throws, and he's caught for a first down. Made the catch and just didn't get much more. 
Tom Williams, round of 13. And uh, he's in the rhythm right now. First down and 10, handoff. Oh, breaks one tackle in the backfield. And he gets about four yards. That is Lee Wilson. Second down and six. Three wide. And changing the play. And draw play. And Wilson fighting for yardage. And he gets two. And it was just not going to be any more than that. They were pinching in on that line. Third down and four. Rams throws. Oh, nice catch. He caught that one, and he is well defended. Excellent job there by Miller, number 87. Man in motion on first down. Williams quickly throws, and it is caught. That's eight more yards. They've got themselves a nice little drive going with, with these, uh, these short throws. Gain of eight, second down and two. Out of the eye formation, man in motion, and they faked the end around and turned right up the middle. But Tennessee was ready for that. Williams number 58 there on the scene. Gain of one, third down and one. They have to get to the 50-yard line in order to get a first down. And did he get it? No, he did not. And that is Holiday number 51 leading the charge there. So something to put their hat on if you're a Tennessee volunteer fan. And look at this punt. Wow. Inside the five all the way down to maybe the two. Officially the one and a half yard line. They're going to have to be really careful with uh, with the ball. You can't fumble. You can't turn this thing over or else it's almost going to be a, a, a surely uh, a, a, some kind of field goal if not a touchdown. Second down and nine. They plunge right up the middle again and only a yard. Thomas and the guys there on the charge and bring Edwards down. Third down and eight coming up here. A little more than three minutes left to go in the, in the uh, first half, and look at that. Wow. Eight yards, and that's the fullback, Williams, gaining the first down. They were not expecting him to have that ball. They were perhaps expecting Edwards to get it, or maybe a, a, a short pass. Great play call there. And uh, maybe not so much here as they lose five yards on a pitch out on the right side. And Edwards is just blown off of his feet. And that's Swanson actually, number 56, making that play. And he's talking a lot of stuff to one of the ball players. Second down and 15 here. Oh, my goodness. Forget about it. He's going to lose orders there. Edwards just never had a chance. Couldn't really tell who that was. He just pancaked him, but it is second. I'm sorry, third down. And 19 here. Handoff out of the eye. And oh, boy, he is so lucky that that is not a safety. Fourth down and 21. And the punter is going to have to make sure he doesn't give him a safety. As uh, he did well. That was, that was actually a pretty good punt. Ball at the Tennessee 48-yard line. So out of the gun, there's Williams throwing. And he's got a man wide open. Touchdown, Florida. Oh, they made it look so easy there as he was just streaking right down the sideline. I don't understand what the heck kind of coverage that was. 
Uh, they look like just a, a bunch of freshmen out there on their first practice because nobody was really doing anything worth covering. And the deep guy beat him deep. And Williams saw that and took advantage of it. Extra point is up and good. All of a sudden, folks, it's 24 to 7 Gators. Swamp fans, I assure you are loving this one. The Volunteers offense still really hasn't done much of anything worth speaking about. Let's look at the game track for a second. Here's one of the guys who is disrupting the offense for the Volunteers. This big old number 95. Goes by the name of Joe Thomas. And he is killing his offense. Three tackles, got a sack, four TFLs. He is destroying his offense. And out of the eye, he will throw deep. He might have this one, and he does. And that's Carlson for a touchdown. Well, this ought to help them out a little bit. It was again number 99 who was in Colvin's face, and he did well to get it over Ginn's outstretched arms and lofted it right to Carlson, who was uh, sneaking way back there. Excellent play. Boy, that's huge for Tennessee. The kick is up. The kick is good. And now the score is 24 to 14. Florida's still on top. But at least Tennessee can say they scored an offensive touchdown. Now, first one, they say, is always the hardest. Oh, look at this. Close to 40. Midfield. Oh, my goodness. He nearly took that one to the house. Last week, he took one all the way to the house against Fresno State, and um, he is a threat every time he touches the ball. A legitimate, I think, uh, Heisman candidate. And that was a heck of a throw, nice catch, and whoop, that was nearly a touchdown. Miller, number 87, he just took a little hitch pass and uh, nearly outran the rest of the defense. Game, well, not game saving, but uh, touchdown saving tackle there. But the ball is at the 23 yard line. The throw by Williams, and it is caught. Tippy toe action there. 263 yards so far for Mr. Williams, and he's not done yet. And oh, they fake the end around and handed it, handed it up, up, up the middle. And Florida just called their first time out. And handoff up the middle again, this time left to center, gained about three. Oh, excuse me. So that was timeout number two. Called by the Gators and the give up the middle to Clayton. And he got the first down, but he did not score. And they hurried to the line of scrimmage to keep the defense flat for him. The throw is caught for a touchdown. And that is Miller, number 87, in the back of the end zone, making a heck of a catch. Even his feet and having to tumble and secure the ball as he did it. Now, I think they're going to look at this one again, but this should not be any problem because yeah, well, <laughs> ghost graphics there. But he made the catch and secured the ball. He tumbled in bounds, which makes it a touchdown. And the referee was right there. And he made the right call. 
30 to 14, about to be 31 to 14, and it is. William Miller, six plays, 48 yards, 51 seconds off of the clock. Yeah, that was more of a typical scoring drive for the Florida Gators. Oof, hard hit there. Short of the 30-yard line, and that is King, number 28, who ran that one back. 48 seconds left to go in the first half. They are down 31 to 14, and that's a decent run. Eight yard gain. Tennessee has two timeouts, Florida has one. Back to throw, and Colvin is hit and hit hard. That is a sack. My goodness. They're gonna have to ice him down during halftime. Third down and 10, maybe a few seconds left to go in the first half. I wonder if they'll even have the ball. Let's see if they do that. Oh, two seconds left. And he gets nine. And that will be, yes, the end of the first half. 31 to 14, Florida over to Tennessee. Williams having a bang up day after starting somewhat poorly throwing a pick six he's made much much better decisions ever since then second half action starting up right here Florida taking the ball oh, that's a decent return across the 30 yard line Looking back, first half highlights. There have been some long plays. Some big, big plays crossed in there with that long play. Let's see Dave Muschamp. And now you see the Florida offense. Let's see what they do here. Uh, shotgun, they've already scored 31 points. Let's see how many more they will score. We're not going to score on that play because he just got sacked. And that was a blitzing linebacker there. Uh, I believe that's Stevenson, number 55. Coming from that left linebacker spot. And they executed that blitz just right. Sacking Williams for nine yards. Second down and 19. Hand off up the middle. Look out. He's gone. Touchdown, Florida. And that's Wilson breaking it back inside, and he's just so fast that uh, nobody else is going to catch him. I think they were ready for Perhaps a pass, not a run up the middle. He had a guy perhaps overrun it and then got blocked inside. And that just paved the way for the quick feet, fast feet of Lee Wilson. The kick is up and good, and that ends, if you call it a drive, a two-play, 65-yard drive. 74 yards on the run by Wilson. Right up the gut. This is a decent return in and of itself. And you see the game track. You see the punishment that Colvin has been taking so far this game. Offense for the Vols just getting beat down. Five sacks they've given up so far. <laughs> and, and, and the game's not over yet. That's the scary part. Ball at about the 32 yard line, a handoff, and they got actually decent yardage on that. Seven yards. A little bit of a hole there for Edwards. Let's see if they can maintain those good blocks. Second down and three. 
And he's got a hole there, and he is blasted, however. Oh, man, that is Gardner coming in to take the whap on him, but he's got the first down. Let's see if they'll just keep giving them a steady diet of Edwards. And that's the shot. No, Wild, Wildcat, he got hit. He dumped the ball, and now Florida's got it back. Oh, that's number 44. I don't know who he is. I think that's Cox, number 44. He got hit by Jen. And one of the Florida players made off with the ball. And, <laughs> and this is going to give the Gators a short field as though they need it. At the 24, handoff on first down uh, uh, behind right guard. That's Wilson. That is up to date. Stats, 129 yards, two scores. He is tearing them up, second down and four. Pitch out to the right side. They were ready for that one. And one yard, perhaps, on that pitch out. Third down and three. And they're in the broken eye, so they're going to Oh, my goodness. Whew, what a tackle. I don't know of a running back who can run without his legs. And he just submarined him. And Wilson knows it. Fourth down and seven. Looks like it's going to be a 38-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is good. 41 to 14. Caps off a four play, three yard drive, just a tick short of a full minute. I think Florida is in a good way right now. Oh, what a. They are really hitting these guys now. He is not getting up. Oh, boy. That looked painful. First down and 10, four wide. And with the delay handoff, that did a whole lot of nothing. It is hard to fool these guys. When it comes to plays like that, they recognize what's going on so quickly. Oh, fake jet sweep, and this is what I'm talking about. See, these guys are well coached. And... He did not take the fake. That's Allen, number 57, making the tackle in the backfield. So it's going to be third down and 15 coming up. And a shotgun, three wide, man in motion. Holden back to throw. He eludes one, but cannot elude the other. And that ball is back on the ground. And guess what? It's Florida. Florida's ball. And that is Jim, again, number f number 99, putting a hit on Colvin. And I believe that is Joe Thomas who jumped on the ball. Defense, defense, <laughs> defense. My goodness, this, this front seven is just working them over. Yep. And that is another touchdown. That is Miller in 87 with another touchdown grab. And they're, they're starting to make this look rather easy. I don't know, perhaps it's safe to say at this point, uh, volunteers are pretty much a defeated team, not just on the scoreboard, but... Uh, in their minds as well. And how are they going to get over this deficit? Not only that, they're having to play in the swamp. Ball taking about the nine. And he's still on his feet. Look out. Inside Florida territory. Wow, that was a really good return. That was a heck of a block. Put somebody... Down on the ground, had him sliding. Now, let's see if this offense can take advantage of this. 
No trips left. And they will run a draw play. Being, I think, rather conservative. That's Edwards. Gain of one. And at this point, it seemed like he had to throw, uh, if not every down, every other down. And it looks like they will throw here in the short near flat, and that's Sanders. And it gains all of two yards. That doesn't really give them a whole lot. They're down and seven coming up here. Two tight ends, and Colvin's back to throw, and it is caught. Colvin, six of seven for 108 yards. Uh, he's only thrown the ball seven times up to this point. That gives you an idea of just how dominant the Gators have been. And here's a jet sweep, and he cannot break the tackle to get around the end. Forget about it. That was Carlson. He gets zero. Second down and ten coming up here. These gadgets just seem to not really work, and this is the Wildcat, and when you know it, there's a flag. <laughs> yep. That's going to be Nathan Robinson, the left guard, number 73, guilty of the infraction. So that's going to move him back a good ways. Smokey doesn't like it one bit. Second down and 19 coming up here. Four wide receivers. And they're going to run a draw play again. I don't understand it. You get all of one yard there. That's Cox, number 44. And uh, that they need to throw the ball. They're not going to score on the Gators running the ball. Third down and long. Out of the gun. The rushing three. The throw by Colvin. Tipped away. And that was Latimer at number 27. Defending deep. And it's going to be a 56-yard attempt. And again, it's short. I don't understand the second attempt from that long of a distance. Um, you might be better off just lining it up at the line of scrimmage and throwing the pass. That just did a whole lot of no good for the Vols on so many levels. First down and 10. They run up the middle and he only gets one yard. He is snowed under. And, you know, at this point, if they... <laughs> The, the way the defense is playing, they can uh, pretty much do whatever they want. Second down and nine. Oh, they got, got a good block. And he gets about five yards there. That is Lee Wilson. And just piling on the yardage. Down that big, quick offensive line. Third down and four, and they're going to run it again. He breaks a tackle. He's got the first down. He's in Vol territory, and he just <laughs> he just runs out of tackles. He is just so strong. Can't wait to see him play on Sundays. First down and ten. The ball on the Tennessee 44-yard line. Looks like a jet sweep of some sort. No, a quarterback keeper, and he's going to be dropped for a loss of two. Tears snuff that one out pretty easily. A lot of tackles for a loss on both sides. Second down and 12. And the throw over the middle. That ball was popped up in the air and hung up there for a second. Nobody came down with it. Very luckily uh, for the Gators, I say. Third down and 12. And an empty backfield. Man in motion. Williams looking a good pocket, throws over the middle, and it is caught for about seven yards by Miller. It's going to be fourth down and five, and they will attempt a long field goal. Why? I don't know. This is a 56-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up, and just under the crossbar. I guess they tried it just because they could. 
Ooh, and uh, even if it was long enough, I don't know if that would have been good. Man, that was hard right. First down and 10. There's Colvin with the throw over the middle. My goodness, he took a shot. He's facing press coverage from Latimer. He made that catch, and he was met by three Gators. Heck of a catch, so he's got guts. Second down and two. Coming up here, three wide. Colvin with the short drop, throws toward the near sideline. Uh, overthrows everybody, high and outside. It's gonna be third down and two. Maybe a good idea to run this time. Just to get the first down, just to keep the drive alive. And even at that, that doesn't work. Loss of two. That works. A little bit animated out there. Fourth and four. Can you really blame them? And there's a punt. Taking about the 20 yard line. Breaks a tackle. He's still on his feet. And he makes it to about the 35 yard line. That's Wilson. Well, he is one heck of a player. He will bring the, the crowd to his feet. And look out! <laughs> Looked like he was going to be stuffed for a second. Let's look at that again. Well, he got hit, and he did this little hurdle move, and next thing you know, he's running up field past the, the first down mark, and looks like Wilson is hurt. Uh-oh. So he goes out. And I believe uh, Dixon comes in, number 36. King brings him down. That's a game of six. So it's just like Wilson never left. So a few seconds left to go in the third quarter. And handoff behind left guard. And he's still on his feet. Boy, nice run there. That's Dixon. Well, I tell you, if Wilson is seriously injured, he don't have anything to worry about because this kid can play too. I'm not sure they'll get this playoff. Is it two, one? Oh, they just did get that playoff. They try a jet sweep and they lose a yard, handing it off to Jacobson. And that is the end of the third quarter. 48 to 14. Florida in front of Tennessee. Now, will they put in the second string or will they just continue to batter this this Tennessee volunteer team into submission? It looks like they have the first string is out there. No mercy. And there's a three yard gain there. Third down and eight. And the throw is caught. Streaking over the middle, and that's Jacobson getting the tough yardage, but not enough for the first down. It's going to be fourth down and five, in fact. So it's going to be about a 42-yard field goal, and there is a flag. Oh, let's not get too happy. Oh, offsides. Oh, my gosh. That's George Kramer in on I-8. And they'll decline it and just take the three points. 43 yards by Beach. Seven to play, 40-yard drive. That's what it ended. Minute 27 off of the clock. And let's see. Let's I thought it was going to be a good return, and it was not. <laughs> it was hitting the upper body. About 16 seconds left to go in the third quarter of play. And the volunteers are almost have to. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Jake Ginn, he just broke the school record for sacks. He's got 43 in his collegiate career. 
And folks, that's a defensive tackle. Second down and 18. And boy, Allen took him down quick, quickly. And that was number 86, didn't get his name. Got his number. Third down and 12, four wide. See if they can convert this. Colvin looking, he throws just before he gets hit. And the ball is tipped away. I couldn't quite see who batted the ball away. But it's fourth down. And the ball bounces upfield. All the way up to the Florida 34-yard line. And that is where they will take it. The starter's still in there. Oh, a double hit. Yep, and Wilson is back out there. Trying to create more damage. In fact, they damaged him. Negative one on the play. Second down. Out of the gun. And he is going to be sacked. He's going to be sandwiched. And that's Nash. Who gets, gets credit for the sack. Although there was... Someone else coming in from the other side who gave Williams a little pop there, but uh, that was Nash who actually made the tackle. Third down and about 18. And looks like they will throw the ball there in the shotgun. And he's, in fact, they're going to go deep. You got to be kidding me. Another deep throw for a touchdown. That is Keller, number 85. And they just put on the points. <laughs> Williams threw that one like a, uh, like a pitcher. And hit Keller almost perfectly in stride. Running behind the defense. <laughs> Again, I don't understand why they're letting this guy go free like that, knowing that he is a deep threat. In fact, they have two deep threats. The kick is up and good. It is 58 to 14. Williams to Keller, 74 yards. Touch the three play, 66 yard drive. They are just looking like the best team in the country right now, to be quite honest. Let's look at the game track for a second. Look at the beatings that Ginn has put on Colvin today. It has been something else. Jake Ginn, three and a half sacks, four tackles, three TFLs. Broke the school record for Recorded sacks, that's incredible. As they stuff that play. Yes. That's great defense. <laughs> you know, when you have your corners play like that and you know, tackle like that, man, you know you have a tough defense. You know you got a hard-nosed unit. Second down and 13. That was a loss of three, by the way. And short throw into the near flat. And it's number 85. That is, uh, I couldn't really tell what his name was. Harrell or something like that. Third down and 11. In the gun, four wide. And Colvin looking, looking, and throwing deep. And it is knocked away. Double covered, if not triple covered. So it is fourth down. He just made a poor decision. As this is shanked somewhat. Terrible punt, I can tell you that much. And there's Marcus Keller, five receptions, 177 yards, two touchdowns. He is having a monster day. Pitches out just in time. Across the 50 to 40. Down inside the 30-yard line. 
my goodness. Lee Wilson, he is just eating up chunks of yardage here. At this rate, he's going to get to 200. I don't know if that's the intent of the Gators for him to be out there and do that, but um, if so, they just won't get their wish, although we're going to have to wait another play because he's just lost two yards. But what a day for us had Williams, Wilson. What a, what a heck of a unit. And then you look at the defense, you have Ginn, you have Joe Thomas. Um, and everybody else chipping in here and there. It is just a great, great team. Third down and 12, he's going to throw. And he tried to get it to Heath. And it just wasn't, wasn't working. Got batted away. Fourth down and 12. Oh my goodness, and he missed this one too. Again, it's to the right, and Tennessee gets it at the 31 and a half yard line. Colvin, he's going to fire this one deep. Why not? And incomplete. He tried to hit Carlson. Just running down that, that far sideline, but this was not accurate. Second down and 10, and it looks like this is a keeper. And Blair, first man on the tackle, bringing Colvin down. Got back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Third down and 10. Four wide. Colvin looking, throws over the middle. He's got a man. He's got Sanders, and they're going to do the, the no huddle offense. Colvin throws, and incomplete. Burgess with a nice hit to make sure that was incomplete. It's going to be second down and 10 now. This defense is incredible. Colvin's trying to step up in the pocket and holding the ball too long, and you know what happens when you hold the ball too long. You get dropped. Um, this is Joe Thomas bringing him down. There's no gain, but then no loss either. Maybe that's a sack. I don't know. Third down and 10. At the 37 and a half yard line. Back to throws. Colvin, oh, he slips one guy, cannot slip the other, and he fumbles yet again. Are you kidding me? And that was White, number 90, who just has a heck of a motor, just won't stop, won't quit. Until it gets to the quarterback. Made the guy fumble, and looks like one of the Tennessee linemen jumped on it and recovered the ball for him. But nonetheless, what a, just what a game, in fact, by White and the rest of his defense. Fourth down and 17. He punched this one high, trying to nail him deep, and just couldn't quite do it. And let's look at the game track here. Marcus Keller. about that that's got to help the average out quite a bit as there's Wilson getting six yards fired up still you gotta love that that deep into the game and got the game one but you just love it so much you just love the game of football a handoff of the middle look out can we get a block Oh, he, he nearly got one, and guess what? Wilson has 208 yards. 208. It's ridiculous. Less than two minutes to go. And breaks it into the middle. 
Union's got four. I think they're upset about losing so much to Fresno State that they're just really taking it out on Tennessee and just also showing the world that if they want to, they can bash. They can really, they can really put an opponent away. Uh, so I believe that is why they're doing what they're doing. And off in. That's Wilson. He finally made a tackle, but right before he got six yards. And guess what, folks? That is the end of the game. 58 to 14. Tennessee just got whooped. What a game for Florida. Started off seven to seven. Really for their fault. This is the play of the game. It's Wilson right up the middle. That speed, that acceleration, and they just could not handle it. Over 200 yards. Uh, it was just a, a just a fantastic day all around. Whereas Tennessee is going to drop to 0 and 3. And he said Tyler Tyone Tyler, Tyrone Williams, sorry. Boy, I butchered that. But uh, he had a huge game. Florida wins a rivalry game. They go to one and one. Finally get that win column and Tennessee gets to uh, go home uh, with an 0 and 3 record, which is especially in the SEC going to severely handicap what you do uh, even if you went out even if you went out you know, 8-3 maybe 9-3 record you're still going to get to one of the lesser bowls you're not going to compete for the championship what a what an excellent play there that was a heck of a throw heck of a catch by Carlson Fantastic stuff. Yeah, just that just broke perfectly. Run Wilson run. And this play. I mean, it was just a matter of just seeing that he was open and throwing the ball and him running underneath it and catching it. That's exactly what happened. And there you can enjoy some of the photos of the game. Some of the great players and some of the great plays. What a game. I don't know who we play next, but I can guarantee you whoever it is, they have got to watch out for it. And almost assuredly our number seven ranking will be pushed up oh I say maybe a couple of places to number five uh, depending on what else happens uh, with the with the rest of the games but my goodness 58 to 14 it really put it all together and this team just seemed to be focused on winning with a capital W. Uh, he polished off Tennessee, but remember, uh, this is a team that plays in the SEC, so you're talking about still having to play teams like Alabama, uh, LSU, you know, teams like that. Those are the teams that are normally in the hunt uh, for the number one slot. If they're not in there already, then chances are they're they're within sniffing distance. Uh, so that's why they call. I mean, even in this this setup, they got the SEC as 
more or less, you know, from top to bottom, the premier conference. Now, I haven't really kept up with how it really is, <laughs> but uh, I certainly have enjoyed s some SEC games in the past. I uh, love to watch play uh, or watch Auburn uh, play. You know, in reality, f you know, Florida is like a little bit disappointing. But here, they're not very disappointing at all. Won a few championships. Uh, and uh, once I got tired of having to work so hard at the recruiting part of it and losing some good players, I just got sick and tired of it and just stopped the act of recruiting and just let it passively do it makes a huge difference as well you can, you can figure but what a spanking <laughs> 58 to 14 and game number three hopefully will come up pretty soon I feel a little bit better about this one but man uh, if we play like this for the rest of the the season, there's absolutely no one who uh, is going to be stopping us. And uh, you know what I should have done, and perhaps I'll do next time, is show the schedule and concentrate on it just for a minute and talk about what is down the road for this team. You know, who, who is standing in our way of gaining that championship is there somebody who could uh, get us in a trap game so to speak and get us to overlook them and then we end up losing a game that would uh, that would not be good for national championship prospects so maybe that time on, on, on game number three, video number three for Florida State, or rather Florida Gators, I would do something like that. But for now, I'm going to call it 58-14, Florida over Tennessee, defense just dominating. If it weren't for that pick six, they would only have had seven. Incredible, incredible play. And again, uh, White, Thomas, those three guys really put the heat on these, on on this line. And once you have a line, if you can sack the quarterback with only three linemen rushing, you've got something going. But we'll end it on that note. And just relishing the fact that there was uh, there was some excellent play again, breaking a school record in this game. And I would hate to lose him. In fact, I had to coax him back uh, to play one more season because he was gonna he was gonna graduate on me if not going to the pro draft. I would have lost him. And I probably would have lost a couple other the star players. Uh, I think maybe Keller. But I didn't want to lose anybody. So seeing the fruits of my labor, so to speak, on that. So I, I, I do actively uh, use the, uh, the coach to actually talk to these guys and say, hey, come on back play for us but I think most of the time they just say oh, let me think about it coach and then I ask them again and they say no I think I'm going to go ahead and graduate or I think I'm going to go ahead and enter the draft and pursue my dream something like that but then you get those, those uh, cool surprises like Gin say okay you know what I'll come back and then he does and that was amazing so you're seeing Gin with those 
those uh, fumbles that he's caused. So awesome stuff there. 58-14, Florida over Tennessee. And I will see you on game number three. If you like what you hear, like what you see, like and subscribe. And if you got any suggestions, let me know. Get a comment going. Get some discussion going that you can educate me about. You know, the true Florida Gators and talk about SEC football in general. Let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.